What's up everyone, it's Oz with Tow Trucks, Cars and Energy Drinks and I finally got done with the Chevy Cruze so we're gonna go ahead and go over everything that I did. First thing we did is we took that dull, boring old headlight and we changed it out for a super cool, updated LED one. So I went ahead and uh, ordered the black bow tie Chevy symbol. Uh, this one I did in a gloss black because it's gonna match the lip on it. And um, before, this is what it actually looked like. That's what the before is without the Chevy symbol. I think he pulled it off just to make it look black. But uh, to me, that's, that's kind of a little on the janky side. So, you know, I spent the 15 bucks and, um, you know, coughed up the money for uh, for the Chevy symbol. So it looks like that it's just got a little bit of double-sided tape on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and peel that off and let's see what it looks like with it on. So I just went ahead and wiped it off with a little bit of uh, wax remover to make sure it adheres very well. It's pretty hot outside, so I think this will actually just stick right on there. So um, I'll go ahead and then we'll just line it up. And that actually did take a little finessing to get on there. It was almost like uh, sticking a, a square in a circle uh, slot, for lack of a better term there. But uh, I went ahead and heated it up a tiny little bit and I was able to flex it in there. So I think it looks a lot better instead of just those gaping holes. Because when you're flipping and you're wheeling and dealing, sometimes just a little bit of detail like that will actually turn somebody off. And then they start picking the car apart, which, uh, you know, we don't want to do that. We don't want to discount this car more than we need to. So um, I like it. I didn't have to order the back one. And um, when I put that lip kit on there, it's gonna tie in very well, so. So I always update the looks on these cars uh, as I touched on before, cause I think the coolness factor is easier to kind of differentiate this car from another one. You know, someone comes out and they're like, hey, you know, why should I trade you? You know, this is another one's another cheaper. I get to say, hey man, you know, this one's got these limited cool tail lights on it. So I'm gonna take these boring ones and we're gonna switch them out with some really cool limited production tail lights from Spider. And I'm glad I made that decision because this is the exact look that I was going for. Since I did that much stuff, I really wanted to add a little bit more black. So of course I wanted to spruce it up a little bit by adding a little bit more color. And a little bit of color is just what these rims called for. I think those black pocket inserts came out really awesome and they really give that car and those wheels a little bit of tiny extra flair that I was looking for without going extremely over budget. I was able to do that with a Plasti Dip Luxury Series that has a little bit of metallic flake in it and it makes it pop just right and it goes perfect with those center caps. I really do hate the way that these yellow amber lenses look on this cruise. Not really the look that I'm going for, so I got just a trick just for that. So to upgrade the look on that, I went into Light Depot and I got me a set of these clear lenses that gives me the exact look that I'm going for. I'm going for a nice clean tuner-ish look and I think it looks pretty well. And aside from that, I went with the lip splitter that really took me a while to find the correct one to fit that. That one's actually off of an Audi, and I think this car is coming together quite lovely. I still have the side skirts coming in, and those are going to be a challenge within themselves. And honestly, the car is coming along better, but I still think there's ways I can make it look a little bit better. So we're going to take these plain window sills, and we're going to add a little bit of flair to them. <clears throat> And a new set of Mugen vent shade covers is definitely what it called for. It's going to give you the functionality of being able to keep your window open while keeping the rain out. And it gives the car a stellar look. I like these specific ones because they got the little indentations in them, which makes it look a lot more aerodynamic and a lot more aesthetically pleasing. So I always do a full detail on every car, uh, whether I trade for it or buy it straight up. I put the car pretty much through the same process, make sure it's safe to drive and make sure it's super clean, make a couple changes to it to uh, make it a little bit more uh, appealing to the person at the end of the line. And uh, remember this car only has 70,000 miles on it, but the interior was like it had 150,000. So uh, I went ahead and did my thing, cleaned and conditioned the seats 
and now it looks like a 30,000 mile car and uh, the back came out pretty good too. And um, I don't know uh, if you guys are following or not, but uh, this particular individual got really drunk with his buddies and uh, before he traded this uh, for my F-150 flare side, they decided to get really drunk and cut the mufflers off. And uh, that creates a lot of challenges for me when people do stuff like that because uh, one, it messes with my budget. Uh, two, you don't know what they did and you kind of got to go back through what they did. And uh, sometimes, you know, it makes it so much harder because you have to undo someone's mistakes to redo it the right way. And uh, they cut it off in three different spots, uh, which made it a lot harder for Ron because uh, he charges me per weld usually. But um, he took it easy on me. Uh, I've been bringing him a lot of stuff lately. And um, so he gave me a good deal on it. And uh, it was definitely a lot cheaper than going with a full aftermarket exhaust system. And uh, as you can see, we put a couple clamps on there and then uh, he welded it the rest of the way to uh, make sure that it's very sturdy and it did not leak at all. And I've been driving it for the last couple of days and uh, he did a good job. So I'm happy we just went with the, with the factory exhaust system. As you can see that muffler goes sideways and then it goes up over the suspension like that. And, it's just so bent up, it's like a pretzel. Finally, I got the side skirts in and we're gonna put those on and it's gonna look perfect. It's gonna match with the lip that we got here in the front and it's gonna tie it all in nice and together. And with a little bit of elbow grease and imagination, I was able to fabricate these side sills, which were just universal ones that fit any vehicle. But let me tell you, they did not fit worth nothing. So I had to cut them down and shave them down and custom mount them to give them that perfect flush look to tie in with that front lip. And I think the car came out overall exactly the vision that I had entailed. And um, I already got people blowing me up for this vehicle online right now. I really wanted to get a trade, but I think I'm just going to end up selling this one outright. So uh, there it is. It's all finished up by Oz Customs. And uh, it was a journey. I'll be honest with you. It took me two weeks to finish everything on this car. And uh, I'm glad I did because it came out perfect, just like I wanted it to. Check that out. I think the side skills came out pretty cool. So this will be another one, another one uh, to sell and make a couple bucks on. And uh, I'm gonna be looking forward to finding my next project and hopefully um, I get something here pretty soon. So. I think I'm gonna try to find another uh, uh, truck or motorcycle, we'll see. It just really depends on what's out there at the time when I'm looking, so. As always, please like and subscribe. Oz, Tow Trucks, Cars, and Energy Drinks, out.